Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep, welcome back to Pacific Paradise, and welcome back to this island we find ourselves on. Last time we were working on the Firewatch Tower, we wanted to put the roof on, make it out of grass, and unfortunately there isn't a flat section that you can use when building a roof of that type. So we had to improvise. And improvise we did, we made a stepped roof, which is not quite within the design spec that I had in mind, but it does mean the inside is a bit more open and airy than normal. There is a big old window there. There's a load of sticks on the floor as well. A big old open window, which I think I might just put another stick awning on here and just have done with it. But that's not what I really want to do while I'm here. Well, we can do it anyway. What I actually want to do is hop up onto the raft and then peace out onto another island so we can grab ourselves a couple of... Oh, which way? That way? That way, I think. Uh, grab ourselves a couple of container pieces. Which way was it? It was that way. Yeah, it was. No! I keep doing that. In between episodes, I actually fell again from the other house, hit the raft and broke my leg again. I keep breaking bits because, well, there are gaps. There are problems. I guess if that floor wasn't there, we'd have just hit the water and been okay. So I'll tap these two in. Go and look at the red container that's beneath the building, which is technically what would be a water tank on a fire watchtower. Well, I mean, how I imagine it would be. Of course, none of this is actually really real. And we have managed to make a fairly compact staircase, which is nice. Yeah, the, the little red container. If we put a door on there, or at least another panel, that would be really good. And then we could chip, chibbly chop these out and it will be useless and just sat there, but looking quite nice. And that's what would have happened if we'd have just fallen into the water and not onto the scaffolding. But wait, there's more. Yeah, of course there's more. I do like the little red accent underneath the tower itself. And the seagulls flying underneath the platform. Why do we have to build this? It's, it's a folly. It's a folly, essentially. But it does mean we can now look out over the Pacific to all the other areas that we haven't really explored. And the other areas we haven't really explored are... Uh, well, everything that we already know, to be honest. Uh, what we should probably do, since food and water is actually okay, is run through the woods. Day 177, 177 days survived. Run through the woods, hoof off the tailplane of the airplane that is, in fact in the woods, grab the raft and go. But wait, there's more? Yeah, slices and dices. Yeah, raft, it's on the quayside. The main house, the main house is a bit more of a messy structure, but I don't know, I like it. I like having the tower and the roof. I don't know, there's, there's something about this game, about the creative freedoms that you can have. And that thing is, I, I'm still not entirely convinced by the roof, I'm going to be honest. I might rebuild it out of clay, I don't know. Anyway, we've got a leap off here. A leap of faith? Oh, don't tell the Ubisoft. Uh, I'll need someone to start the module, please. Yeah, of course you will. You know, I once bought a set of knives from this guy on TV. Cat swore to me that, that they, could, they could cut through bone, metal, shoes. Hell, he could cut through my damn car and still dice tomatoes. You know what? He was lying. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. I'm just, just gonna go. Just, just gonna peace out. Don't need to do anything more here, I don't think. Uh, we got food and various bits and pieces on the raft. Got a bed? Yeah, we got a bed. Got some fuel. Excellent. And uh, that anchor is down, that anchor is also down, that's got not so much fuel, that's got ah, plenty. We do have sails with which we can manoeuvre, but you know what, the world current can kind of help us out of here a little bit. Or alternatively we could just step up on the quayside and just grab raft and hoof it out. There we go. Uh, give it a little bit of momentum sideways. Uh, why do you need to make the noise? I don't fully know. Uh, that way, isn't it? Yeah, 
we say goodbye to the house. We are in fact giving a full right rudder, have been since the motor started up. Now we need to go back to that island over there, which is Trident, and hack off a door from the wreck. The big old cargo containers. Why? Because something to do, in it? Slap it on the raft and then travel back to the home island. But at the moment we are going with the waves, which means it's a fairly smooth and stable ride. On the way back we're going to be going against the waves, which means it's going to be a little bit lumpy bumpy, a little bit bouncy, a little bit not so great. Also, I'm going to head full right of everything here. Why? Because I know there's a river on this island and if we can get in there that's kind of nice and safe. I also know if we try and get too close to the wreck, sometimes deep water shark can spawn. Sometimes that turns into a great white. Now, I'm not particularly feeling like fighting a great white right now. I mean, we can, but there's not supposed to be any sharks on this island. Alright, things should smooth off a little bit as they do. Good, excellent. Cool. Pull that up. Anchor down, and it's good to be home. On a different home. Have No, we have used this as a home island before. Yeah, we have. Good, I don't think anything followed us in. Uh, SPF is a little low, food and water is not too bad. Uh, we could probably go make ourselves some aloe. But why would we do that? Oh, I just, I just had a little thought. A little thought bubble appeared, a little exclamation mark. We are going to be trying to grab stuff off a wreck. Also, that water is looking particularly grey. Look up at the sky. Look down again. That's rain! Oh, we had a storm last time. Another knife. And some water. Alright. Don't need the hammers. Okay, good. Against sharks, against objects. Uh, fuel for my tummy. Hmm, we did have a problem where it stormed every single day. I don't think this is that same problem, but it is kind of annoying. There's some aloe there, but we don't need it anymore because SPF is now, well, I mean, we don't need to worry about the sun protection factor because there's no sun. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. That is not great. It does mean the sharks or any that have spawned will uh, actually go out further into the ocean. Oh, some containers that we've stacked up on the beach. Excellent. Now we can't really see through the water. Ah, uh, why is it so loud? My ears, my delicate ears, there's a stingray. Don't mess with stingrays, they will mess you up. But, um, it should be all right. I mean, they're, they're not vindictive creatures. Just don't be an ass around them. Uh, that door doesn't open. That door does. Oh, wonderful. We've got two fish that don't realise they're... Bloop, and then we're underwater. Yeah, that's why the sharks go deeper out to sea when it's a storm. Because otherwise they would be flying around at face height. And this is what we want. This is what we want. This is what we came for. This is, <laughs> this is what we came for. Hmm. I need a container door. Oh, bugger. Why is it this way? Wait, what? Why is it this way round? This doesn't feel good. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like the way everything's moving around. And it's wet. Oh, gee, gee. Alright. Oh, no. Oh. Grab you. I genuinely... Genuinely don't like this. And I know you, what you're saying. It's just a video game. You can't be hurt by a video game. Look at... Look. Look at how high those waves are. They're going through the boat. Oh, jeez. Uh, I've got an idea. If we just bang off this side here. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's rocks. Oh, it's 30 hits. And then... Oh, this isn't going to be... Ah, 
Oh, we can. We can not side out and then we can knock the panel out, but this panel's going to be much better to grab hold of. When is it going to stop storming? Oh, I don't like it. Stop being a big baby. I know. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, there's a panel. There's one up here. <gasps> oh. I mean, this was the one I was going for all the time. Don't mind me. I'm just going to hack the door off. Yes, it's 30 hits and we're already halfway through, so don't worry about that. Yeah, there are tires and things like one of these big ass wrecks is great. Unfortunately, one of the big problems with them is they're normally half underwater. They're so big, you never really get them on a beach. And this one's uh, it's partially submerged, but it's not as bad as what normally happens. Ah, wunderbar. I'm wearing a door on my head. You can flop off the edge. And apparently disappear into the void? No. What? Wait, what? Where did you go? Oh, it's down there. Yeah, I see it. I just wanted to look at the anchor. But this size ship, that doesn't seem like a very big anchor. Hinged at the end, so when it drags along the seabed, the prongs uh, hinge down and actually dig into the sand. Which is a fun little thing. Uh, on the holes. Hawes holes. H-A-W-E-S. Why, what did you think? Bloom. There we go. In the water. Or probably pronounce Hawes Right. Well, we are not taking this back in a storm. Why not? Well, for a couple of reasons. Um, if we... Oh, I was looking for you in between episodes. I was like, I'm sure I had a bed around here somewhere and I had to go and make one. Ooh, 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 that's a thing. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna be taking this back through that storm. That is insane in the brain. Insane in the membrane. What? Uh, don't worry about it. I'm just going to get this kind of in the middle, though. Normally, when we carry these back, we, we have these sections here where the metal exposed. I don't think I've actually done it this way. So getting it balanced, getting your center of gravity perfect is uh, imperative. Because if we get it wrong, center of gravity is going to be way too... Well, I mean, it's going to be way too high anyway. Hmm, it does not feel good. Time of day is 15.07, which means we are not gonna be going, well, uh, it's gonna be pretty dark. I'm gonna grab some sticky sticks and some rocks. We can go and make a little, let's make a campfire in the woods. Why would we do that? Why would we not do that? Fair point. Uh, right, yeah, we can do that. I'm just looking for more sticks. Oh, I knew there was more sticks around here somewhere. Uh, food and water situation is not too bad. Water is going to be the thing that runs out first before the food. Whoa! Oh, I thought, I thought the bubbles were something swimming past us. I get a little bit nervous when I'm in the sea. I don't know if you can tell. Really? Y yes. There are things in the sea that can eat you. Just eat your brains out. Um, one or two. I need another stick. I need two more sticks. And we can chop down a tree. You're fairly adverse to chopping stuff down, aren't you? Yeah, I don't really want to chop stuff down if I can help it. Mostly because uh, I think we might end up doing it anyway. Uh, mostly because it just ruins nature's beauty. Ah, there we go. Done. It's all the bits that we need. Yeah, but also, but also, but yeah. It's just nicer if we can just pick stuff up off the ground. Right. Um, let us... Why do we want to put the fire? We could put it sort of here. 
I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the fire in here. Do and then I'm gonna put a ring around it. Do and then I'm gonna put a kindling. Whoa, jeez! Whoa! No, 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 no! Stop! I haven't got my axe out. Oh! I thought he was dead. I got jump scared by a crab. All right. Now, calm your pants. I'm gonna eat your brains. I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna eat his brains. He can't stop me. That raft does not look stable though. I think because it's pressing against the sea floor. Um, Kniffy. We need a Kniffy. We do that. Yeah, we've taken some damage. That ain't great. But we can open him up like a tin of beans. What do you mean, open him up like a tin of beans? Do I open him up like a tin of beans? It's quite simple. Use knife on animal carcass. Now, the animals that don't have skin have chitin. Well, uh, I'm just going to drop this right on top of the fire. Oop, that didn't work. The animals that have chitin... There we go. Nope. We can do this. We can balance it on top of the fire. And they'll spin... Why does it do that? I don't know. But it will. Uh, it stopped. Okay, neat. Yeah, and also with chitin like crabs, you don't get the skin, obviously, because, well, you, you don't. But animals with skin, if you use knife on animal, you'll get rawhide, and then the rawhide can be turned into leather. Yep, that's exactly what that is. All right, 1722, what we can do is set the bed down somewhere nearby. I'm going to set it... I mean, I've gone... Uh, uh, just put the... Okay, here. Here we'll do. Boop. Pick that up. It's not great, but it'll do. And then light the fire. Ah. Oh. So the crab's going to cook. Uh, do we need water? Yeah, a little bit. We've got water. Two, three. So the water is tippity top. Food is not. And the sun is going down on another beautiful day in paradise. Well, it kind of was beautiful. Except for the time that it rained. Stormed. Got everything incredibly wet. And I'm not looking forward to the following day when we have to take that... That... Big ass raft with that big ass chunk of metal, which is very high up, back home. All right, the sun's gone down, but yes, the light from the fire lights up the trees. I think if we did this in the in further into the forest, we would actually get the uh, undersides of the, the the trees in the forest lit up. But I just kind of wanted to see what the fire looked like in this little area. It's quite nice. Yeah, it's quite nice. So what we can do is do a little save and a little sleep. And we awake and it is light. Oh. 6.29, pick up the bed. Leave the kindling with the fire. Pick up the crab meat. Nom, 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 nom. And nom, 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 nom. Wait, we healed up? How do we heal overnight? We didn't have full food. Oh, weird. A slurp and a slurp. Okay, cool. Uh, and a slurp. We are tippity top with everything. Everything is fine. Everything is good. Right. Uh, oh, piggy, piggy, piggy. 627. I want to see how low this thing is in the water. I also got to keep a little eye out for purple poison boys. Oh, why do I keep making the noise when I jump? I don't know. That bubbly noise is the same noise that sharks make when they swim past. It's discon... Wait, that raft... Oh, jeez. I thought my leg was a shark. What? This is stupid. I've been playing this game since 2016. I should know all this by now. I do know all this by now. It's fine. It's floating, but it's kind of like... Alright, we're in the shadow of the... Oh jeez, I just I just want to maneuver you a little bit. I just want to see if this is stable. 
It's kind of stable. Low in the water. I don't think it's going to move too much. As long as we don't hit any rocks or anything, we should be okay. In theory, fingers crossed. Touch wood. And there's plenty of wood to touch. Is what she said. That, 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 that's what she said. What does that come from? I think it's, uh, it's like an 80s... Um, comedy? I think I, I looked it up. Was it Chevy Chase said it originally? Somebody said it originally. No, we're going to go fairly slow and easy. And then we're probably going to a shark chase us. Oh, uh, we can kind of see. Right, this is not the optimal... Oh, gosh. It's not the optimal way of doing this. What is the optimal way of doing this? Well, not to be going into the waves for a start. That's uh, like oscillations and things. You can set the sails up. You will go slower. Sails do give you more torque. T-O-R-Q-U-E. But, and this is a this is a caution. I'm not giving her full beans. I'm letting go of the throttle every now and again. So giving her some gas. Letting go when I think it's not quite right. I don't want to. I don't want to overroll. I don't have a rollover event. A rollover event is when the whole thing flips over and like then release the gas. It's kind of like driving on an icy road. Also, we could get chased by a deep water shark. This now it. Oh my gosh! Right, giving her the beans. That's a deep water shark. Can they attack the raft, mate? Oh gosh, everything's loading in. Yeah, they can attack the raft. They can attack the raft. You'll hear a big boom and everything shakes around. Can they flip this size raft? Probably not. Um, oh gosh, left, 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 right, right, left, right, left, right. Up, down, back, back, forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward. We're at the gravel pit. There was something chasing us. They don't tend to come all the way back to an island like this. But you can never tell. Which is why, yeah, the, the petrol motor, apps, well, ethanol motor, because we make the uh, we make the fuel out of potatoes, and the uh, other thing you make out of potato alcohol is vodka. You didn't know that's where vodka comes from? Yeah, vodka comes from potatoes. I don't see anything following us out there. There's no movement on the water, so I guess whatever it was has despawned. All right, cool. Boom, 178 days survived. You can flop down on the beach. Uh, oh, are you serious? Are you serious? Mate, what? <laughs> what is your major malfunction? He doesn't, doesn't seem to be that interested in like murder. Where did it go? It's gone into the tall grass. Oh, alright. Oh, yeah, because they... Like, crabs completely ignore the cocoa bushes, the big green bushes. Ah! Alright. I'm going to hit you in the face. I'm going to do it again. They get stunned for the first hit, and then they... There'll, there'll be a time when they just kind of ignore for the hits. There we go. Ooh, alright. Uh, one of the other things that we did was dump off our... Hammers. There'll be a hammer house somewhere. There we go. Pick one up and then head back. Fortunately, we can run back with this thing clipped through our bodies. Our body! Our body is clipped fully through this thing. Yep, it's fine. Don't worry about it. There's a few physics items that the player does interact with, and those are rafts and raft pieces. If you are making a custom island and you say to yourself, I think I want to, I think I want to make a physics object or something that the player can interact with, like a physics puzzle. You are going to need to make a um, physics puzzle out of the yellow rafts, my friend. Because those items you can put in the map editor. We'll, we'll go back to the map editor before long. Right, I don't know which way the, around the door is. Oh, got it right the first time. So I guess the door always faces you. Neat. Why do you want... Why did you want doors there instead of just another wall? Uh, because... I'm going to chip that out. 
Um, because if I later on decide that I want to do something with it, then we have uh, have the option to do something with it. But the initial design is literally just chop these pieces out, which is what I'm going to do. Just chippity chop these bits out. Hopefully I'm hitting the right thing. Yeah, I am. And you said this is based on a fire watchtower from North America or Scandinavia or right places that have huge forests? Yeah. Yes, I did. That's what it's based on. Uh, ceilings very high up, but now we've got the got the open area there. I do like I do like this mezzanine with the open roof. Like the whole idea of having a, a like big old roof opening, so you can put your bed down and still have a have a view out over the sea is definitely yeah. I rate that highly. I don't rate it out of grass. I think a ceramic roof is probably more. It just is. Sploosh. Ooh, we nearly stepped on a purple poison boy, but we did not. Anyway, yeah, everything is now separated. Then the walkway is not there, and it's got just a red container underneath it. I think that works quite well. I think that works quite well. Like from underneath, it would just be all brown and green, but the red is just a little highlight. If you're interested in stuff like that, like architecturally. Ah, oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Well, we've done everything we can there. Uh, food and water situation is fine. Plants are probably going to need a little bit of a looking at. So I'll grab some potatoes since they've grown. Get on another, get on another brew of uh, vodka for its ethanol content. Ethanol. One, two, three, and four. That can get sucked out. It can't get sucked out because I will need to... Ooh. Oh, that's not something we can do. I would need to... Mm, jug that into something like the raft. Oh, the raft is over here. Into the raft. We can empty this out and then get another, get another brew going. Yes. How wonderful. That motor is now full and that motor is mostly full. And there's nothing following you. No. Nah. You'd see it. The way you the way you see things is just let go of the mouse or the controller. And anything that moves in the environment, your eye will pick it up. Because the human eye is very, very good at detecting movement. Um, that thing that swam behind that is that's a black tip reef shark, definitely. Also the things at the very edge of the screen, if we look down there. I can't see anything. If I move that area to the edge of the screen, I can see a shipwreck under the water. What? There's a shipwreck down there. Oh! Yeah, things at the very edge of the screen are slightly closer to the camera. It's due to FOV or field of view. Which is something worth taking note of. What's that? Oh, it's a pig. Piggy, piggy, piggy! Yeah. If you want to see something that's way, way out on the horizon and you're not entirely sure if you can see it, such as an island, that island over there, looking at it directly, it looks far away. Putting it at the very edge of the screen, it looks a lot closer. That's, that's FOV. Field of view. And the wider your field of view, the further away things in the middle of the screen appear. Is that true? Yeah, well, I've just demonstrated it, my dudes. Which means if you are stuck on an island and you don't have a pair of binoculars and you want to know what is... Like, if there is something out there, the best time of day is either twilight or sunrise. And, uh, yeah, just put, put various islands on the horizon uh, at the corner of the screen and you'll, you'll see them clearly. Or more clearly than you would if you looked directly at them. And that's a thing that works in video games. Right, uh, well, we'll jug the fuel out of that, and then we will light this. Yeah, it's worth keeping your fuel still going. So while you have potatoes, juice up your fuel still. 
once you have enough fuel, or all your jerry cans are full and you can't do anything with them, then the potatoes can be eaten, and for some reason they can be eaten raw. It used to be the potatoes would poison you, but not anymore. Potatoes don't poison you. Um, yeah, it used to be that you would have to cook them, but they would take so long to cook that it was ridiculous. They would take like a, a whole day to cook, and I haven't actually seen the baked potato like model for possibly years now because it was so inefficient to do. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. We have finished off the tower as far as I'm concerned. We'll probably go into the map creator next time. I, there's a map that I want to edit. And then after we've done that, maybe we can just make a whole new map. A whole new map, maybe, if you guys are interested in that. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. If you like this video, definitely leave a little like. Leave a subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. If you want notifications, dingle the bingle. If you don't want notifications and you can be subscribed and never hear from the channel, it's a weird thing. But if you want that, don't click the bell. And I'll tell you what, I'll catch you next time.